What's up Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watts and in this video let's talk about George Lucas and why he never followed through with finishing the Skywalker saga with nine films like he originally intended. Um, I believe the final reason why is due to the hate on the prequels. I mean, Star Wars fans hate the sequel trilogy right now, but let me remind you guys, Star Wars fans weren't too kind to George Lucas 20 years ago when he made the prequels. I think it, no, it was almost 20 years ago. It was like 15 years ago, Star Wars fans weren't too kind to George Lucas who, who made the prequels. Everyone hated Jar Jar Binks and the Phantom Menace. Now people are doing the same thing about the sequel trilogy. I mean, people hated people hated the people hated the prequel trilogy back then like they hated like fans hated the sequel trilogy now. And uh I mean the reason and, and and that's the reason why George Lucas never followed through to making Star Wars 7 through 9. He originally like during the time of the prequels George Lucas had this idea and you can even find it in the Star Wars archives book where George Lucas had plans to make Maul the main villain in the sequel trilogy. Maul would become the godfather of crime and uh, Dark Talon would serve as, a, as an apprentice where most of the action would be with her. She would be like the new Vader of the trilogy. Luke Skywalker would have to accept that it would take at least 20 years to grow a new generation of Jedi. He would have to find two and three year olds to begin training as a Jedi as they grow up. and. Um, he would have to accept that it would take at least 20 years. So, and Leia struggles to rebuild the New Republic and eventually they succeeded and Leia becomes Supreme Chancellor and she gets revealed as the actual chosen one at the end of Star Wars Episode Nine. And that's all coming from the Star Wars Archives novel, uh, Star Wars Archives book. There's a quote in the Star Wars Archives book that says, that says all this stuff about George Lucas's original plans for the sequel trilogy. But those were those were his earlier that's his earlier that's that those are some of his earlier versions of this of the se earlier ideas of the sequel trilogy. Um, and uh, the outlines that were sold to Disney were were not the case with what was in the Star Wars archives book. I mean George Lucas made some changes to the outlines when he rewrote them and the outlines that were sold to Disney were based in the inspiration that were take from them, taken from them, especially with Ryan Johnson, Star Wars The Last Jedi. The inspiration that was taken from them are based off of George Lucas's latest ideas for the sequel trilogy where, Luke, where there would be a much older exiled Luke Skywalker uh, betrayed betrayed by by his nephew and exiled into hiding and it shows that Luke has gone to a dark place uh, there would be Kira Sam and then uh, Kira would, would find a map to Luke Skywalker and L Kira would find Luke Skywalker and uh, convince Luke Skywalker out of his depression and that was and that and we can see a lot of those ideas unfold within the sequel trilogy that we got now now was it a hundred percent inspired by George Lucas's outlines that he sold to Disney no I mean I don't think George Lucas ever planned to have Palpatine as the main villain in this in the entire Skywalker saga I don't think he had plans for Palpatine to be resurrected at, in episode 9 um, but um, George Lucas did have plans for all nine films and the outlines that were sold to Disney were based off of the later off of the latest version latest idea that George Lucas had of the sequel trilogy they weren't the earlier ideas that was described in the archives book where it had Darth Maul and Darth Talon I mean George Lucas changed his mind a lot and that that is fact everything I'm saying is in writing but anyways uh anyways i'll have anyways that's all that's all for this video do make sure to smash a like subscribe comment and i will catch you all later in another video